Hi! Before we get started, I wanted to say a quick thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Most of you have heard me talk about Skillshare, but in case you are new here, Skillshare is a really fun learning community packed with courses to enhance your overall knowledge on any given topic, ranging from all different types of topics from graphic design to international cooking to self-care and wellness, you name it, it's likely there. I've been trying to get myself more into journaling lately, so when I stumbled across Yasmin Cheyenne's Writing for Self-Discovery course, I was genuinely so excited. I love that she talks about owning our self-care and making it a priority for ourselves. She has 12 lessons in her course, all bite-sized, which makes it so doable to complete in a very reasonable amount of time. If you want to enjoy this class along with me, just know that the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So definitely pop open the description box and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. <laughs> now on to today's class. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome, welcome if you are new here. I'm Ariana Elizabeth. And in today's class, we'll be utilizing light weights in our vinyasa practice to fire up our muscles and build intrinsic functional strength. I'm using three pound bolivars, but you can use five pounds, you can use eight pounds, you can use a mixture of both, or even just wrist weights. Yoga Sculpt will very, very likely ignite a sweat, so be sure to have some water nearby if you need it and listen to your body before me always. You never have to do every rep or every posture, and I encourage you to find your edge, of course, but this is your practice, so enjoy your body, have fun, and let's get started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off in a wide knee child pose. So just bringing the knees nice and wide to the edges of your mat, maybe a little bit further. Extending the arms out long in front of you, deep breath in through the nose here. And an open mouth exhale, release it out. One more, just like that. Deep breath in. And open mouth exhale, release it out. Gently walk the hands over towards the left. And then back to center, over towards the right. And then back to center. And gently make your way to tabletop. So knees are going to come under the hips. Palms under the shoulders, or wrists under the shoulders. And then we'll just take a few dancing lions here. So sinking the hips back towards the heels in a circular motion. You can take it to the left or the right, whichever side you feel like starting on. Making them nice and dramatic so you can really get in there and feel everything. And then go ahead and switch sides now. And then when you're ready, we'll come back to a still tabletop. And the weight is going to shift over towards the right side. And you're going to grab your left weight and extend the left leg out long. So just the toe is going to be about touching the mat. And then we're going to punch the weight straight up and then down to the mat. So do that again, straight up and down. Inhale up, down, inhale up, and down. And then on this last punch up, keep it up there. So you're going to hold it up and then do five leg lifts with the left leg. So five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Lower the weight down and come back to tabletop. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the right side. So weight shifts to the left side. You're going to grab the right weight. Right leg extends out long, keeping everything nice and tight here. And then you're going to punch the weight straight up and down, up and down, up and down, up, down. 
last one up, down, and then punch that one up, <laughs> hold it up there, and we'll do five, five leg lifts. So five, four, three, keeping it nice and tight, two, and one. Perfect. You can go ahead and lower the weight, come back to tabletop, and just come to sitting on your heels. Interlace your fingers behind your back. And then we're going to slightly pulse up and down. So it's going to be a good stretch as well, but just kind of also just punching that up and down. Perfect for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one go ahead and release the bind interlace your fingers in front of you and then press your palms away rounding through the spine here i'm going to drop the crown of the head beautiful really pushing away one more breath in and exhale release it down you can shift through tabletop now coming to downward facing dog gaze forward and you can step hop or float to the top of your mat grab your weights and then inhale to chair pose with weights so punching those weights straight up by your ears sitting nice and low and then bring your weights to heart center and we're just going to step out to the right and then to center left center right center left center keep it nice and low right center left center one more right center you got it left center beautiful extended mountain straighten through the legs punch the weight straight up exhale forward fold release it down inhale halfway lift and exhale, set your weights down, take your vinyasa. Beautiful, inhale, upward facing dog if you choose. And then open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. You can gaze forward and go ahead and travel there. Grab your weights, inhale to chair pose again, sitting nice and low. You really work those quads, punch those weights straight up, and then bring the weights to heart center and straighten through your legs, mountain pose. Beautiful. Alrighty, we're gonna bend the elbows just slightly. So we wanna make sure we protect our joints and the weights are gonna kind of make a V. So again, this is to protect the elbows. And then we're going to kind of do uh, flies. So you're gonna open the arms Weights move away from your chest, squeeze the shoulders, and close. Open, close. Open, close. Open for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Inhale, punch the weight straight up. Exhale forward fold fold it over inhale halfway lift and exhale chaturanga dandasana find your vinyasa inhale upward facing dog and open mouth exhale downward facing dog beautiful job okay right leg steps through go ahead and grab your weights left heel spins down and the weights are going to come to heart center now slightly step that left foot back an additional foot or so and we're just doing this to make sure that our when we take these lunges our front knee doesn't go past our ankle and then we're going to lunge into the front knee and straighten lunge straighten for eight seven six five last four three two and one beautiful reverse triangle with your weight so punch that weight straight up 
Opposite weight comes to your hip. Feel that nice side body stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Cartwheel the hands down. Step back to high plank. And move straight to a downward facing dog. You don't have to take a chaturanga here. And let's do the left side. So left leg steps through. Grab your weights. Right heel spins down and weights come to heart center. Step that right foot back an additional foot or so. And then we're going to lunge into the front knee here and straighten, lunge, straighten for eight, seven, six, five, four, last three. I hope you're breathing for two. <laughs> And one beautiful reverse your triangle here. Breathing into this side body stretch, enjoying it. One more breath in. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down, step back to high plank and back to straight downward facing dog. Beautiful job, you guys. Gaze forward and travel there. Grab your weights. And then we'll rise to standing with weights at heart center. So we're going to work our core a little bit here, but standing. So we're going to alternate the weights to opposite knees as we lift our knee towards the weight. You can look at me and see what I'm what I'm doing here. So the weight isn't going to be coming to our knee. Our knee is going to be trying to make it to our weight. Uh, whichever weight is not in the center is going to pull back. So we're going to make sure we do this on both sides, by the way. So 10. 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4. Please tell me you're still breathing. Awesome. Last 2, 2, and 1 one awesome job weights can punch straight up inhale exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift and exhale chaturanga dandasana but if you take a push-up here on your upward facing dog go ahead and pause and stretch it out just to kind of stretch your core out a little bit so you can look left you can look right and then we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Make sure you're breathing here. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. We only have one more. So from here, you can go ahead and come to standing on your knees. You're almost there. This is the last part. And we're just going to punch one weight straight up and then the other, keeping that core nice and tight fully engaged for 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, last 6, 6, make sure you're breathing, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, last 2, 2, and 1, 1, Good job. Come down to your mat. Legs can come out long in front of you. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to lie, but we do have one more after this, and this is just for core. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, so come down to the mat. Legs out long in front of you. Triceps will be parallel to the mat with a weight in each hand. You're going to inhale. And on the exhale, use your core to lift your torso, punching the weight straight up at the same time. And then lower back down the same way you came in. So inhale and exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So lower down and lift back up, lower and lift. 
lower, lift, lower, lift, almost there, lower, lift, lower, and lift. Last one, lower, and lift. Alrighty, I promise this was actually the last one. So you can place your weights down. Lower all the way down to your back. You made it. Awesome job. Give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> Bring your right ankle over the left knee. Flex those right toes and then draw the left knee in. Breathing here. And then crossing the legs a little bit more. You're gonna hold on to the edges of each foot and then slowly pull it in. And then now slowly release your grip, but keep your legs crossed, allowing them to relax down to the left side. Arms are gonna come out to a T and then gaze over the right shoulder. Breathe here. Beautiful, slowly unwind and bring the left ankle now over the right knee, flexing the left toes and drawing that right knee in. Breathe here. And now crossing the legs a bit more, holding onto the edges of each foot Slowly pull it in. And now slowly releasing the grip, but keeping the legs crossed, allow them to relax over towards the right. Taking this twist, arms can come out to a T, gazing over the left shoulder now. Beautiful. You can slowly unwind, allow your legs to straighten all the way out to corpse pose as we make our way to final Shavasana. So one more breath in through the nose, nice and deep. Open mouth, exhale, release it fully out. I will cue you out of Shavasana when it's time. We'll be here for about four minutes.
Beautiful. And friends, as you're ready, we'll start waking our bodies up with a breath in through the nose and an open mouth exhale, release it out. Whenever you're ready, you can rock over on either side to fetal pose. And just take a moment transitioning through the practice on our mat and taking it back to the practice in our daily lives. And once you're ready, you can press up to an easy seat, whatever is comfortable for you. And bring the palms to the forehead as a reminder to be so mindful of what you allow in here. Bringing the palms to the lips as a reminder to speak kindly, not only to others, but to yourself. And then to the heart as a reminder that you are loved, you are important, you are special, you have a purpose, you have a reason for your existence. You can find one more breath in through the nose. And open mouth, exhale, release it out. You can gently flutter the eyes open. Thank you, friends, so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's class. If you did, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below but what you liked or maybe what you'd like to see in the future. And if you would like to donate to me personally, um, I'll leave my Venmo and my Cash App on the other screen or the next screen. Anything is very much so appreciated. And then I'll also leave my GoFundMe down below. If you'd like to support me um, via my studio coming out soon, opening up soon, Lord's will, and uh, teacher trainings, all those types of things directly into the business. So, all right. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in the next class. Bye.